Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. A few weeks ago we talked about CSS sprites and looked at the benefits of using them when designing websites. Starting today we're doing a two-part tutorial on how you can use CSS sprites to produce a fast-loading SEO friendly navigation bar. So today we will design the navigation bar in Photoshop, produce our CSS sprite image and prepare the HTML. And in next week's video we will complete the navigation bar by styling it with CSS and bringing it in our sprite. So to get us started, I've just created a simple Apple style navigation as per our previous video tutorial that's available on our blog. And I've got four buttons, Home, About, Gallery and Contact. And what we want to do with our navigation is when you hover your mouse over one of the four buttons, you get a slightly different um, over effect. We're going to do a darker background. So this uh, PSD, which I'm using as well, is available to download on our supporting blog post. And essentially, it's made up of uh, the text and the sort of background tablet. So the first thing that we need to do is duplicate our navigation. So I've got both layers selected. And I'm holding down Alt and dragging a second copy below the first one. And I'm just going to zoom in just to make sure that I've uh, correctly positioned these without leaving any white space, like so. And to make the over effect, I'm just going to break down the group, select the background of the second one, and we're going to change the background colour by going to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. I'm going to bring the lightness right down to make it much darker, and also the saturation as well with it. So there we have our upstate and our overstate. All we now need to do is just trim the white space by going to image and trim. And then we can simply save this picture for the web and that's our CSS sprite ready. It doesn't matter exactly how you get to the stage of having this sprite, all you need to simply do is have your upstate and overstate together on one picture with as uh, minimal white space or no white space at all. And we'll just save that onto our desktop as navigation-background.gif. So the final thing that we're going to do today before we complete our CSS sprite navigation next week is just prepare the HTML file so that next week all we have to look at is the CSS. So when creating a navigation, whether you're using real text or images like in this example, it's important to ensure that the search engines can index and crawl your data, the navigation included. So a good way to put navigations onto your website is to use lists. So if I insert an unordered list, and if I type out my navigation, which is home, about, gallery, and contact, and obviously we're going to need to link these eventually, but I'll just link these to hash in the meantime. And what we're going to do using CSS is to replace this ordered list with our navigation. But like I said, the great thing about using lists and real text is that the search engines can crawl this data, index your content of your website, much easier than just having an image-based navigation. So that's all we need to do now in terms of preparing our CSS sprite, the graphic, and also the HTML that supports it. So next week we'll just purely be looking at the CSS needed to finish our navigation. Thank you for watching this week. Don't forget to watch next Friday's video when we will be completing our CSS sprite navigation bar.